Hi, thank you for watching Digging to China. I'm Dong Xiong. If you have not done so already, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. According to Wall Street Journal's report, amid the rising tensions with China, the U.S. is preparing to send 100 to 200 troops to Taiwan for training. This number will expand a much smaller training program in the past, which has included the National Guard, Special Ops, and U.S. Marines. About a year ago, only around 30 American troops were stationed in Taiwan. Beyond the training in Taiwan, the Michigan National Guard is also training a contingent of the Taiwanese military, including during annual exercise with multiple countries at the Camp Grey Line in northern Michigan, according to people familiar with the training. China's People's Liberation Army is increasingly engaged in aggressive maneuvers, sending planes and ships near Taiwan. Following Russia's invasion of Ukraine last year, the Pentagon has redoubled efforts to get Taiwan to adopt what some military specialists call a porcupine strategy, focusing on tactics and weapon systems that would make the island harder to assault. Lieutenant Colonel Mahdi Maynus, a Defense Department spokesperson, told Fox News last Thursday, We don't have a comment on specific operations, engagements, or training, but I would highlight that our support for and defense relationship with Taiwan remains aligned against the current threat posed by the People's Republic of China. Our commitment to Taiwan is rock solid and contributes to the maintenance of peace and stability across the Taiwan Strait and within the region, he added. Beijing has been unnerved by the US and Taiwan's greater coordination on defense, accusing Washington of undermining previous commitments to maintain unofficial relations with Taipei. The Wall Street Journal described the planned troop increase in the coming months as the largest deployment of American forces in Taiwan in decades. Officials who spoke to the newspaper said the increase has been planned for months before China escalated tensions with the U.S. by flying a spy balloon over American soil. The troops going to Taiwan will be tasked with training its military on U.S. weapon systems as well as maneuvers to counter a potential offensive from China. In recent weeks, China has frequently been sending its ships and aircraft into Taiwanese waters and airspace. Taiwan split from China in 1949 after a civil war. The only connection between the two nations is billions of dollars in trade and investment. Mainland China does not recognize Taiwan's independence and wants it to unite with the mainland by force if necessary. While Washington is committed under U.S. law to assist Taiwan in maintaining its defenses. The U.S. maintained a large military presence in Taiwan during much of the Cold War. In establishing formal relations between the U.S. and China in 1979, Washington agreed to sever formal ties with Taiwan, terminate a defense agreement, and withdraw its forces from the island. After then House Speaker Nancy Pelosi visited Taiwan last summer, China sent warplanes and warships and fired missiles around the island in exercises meant to register protests and display capabilities it might potentially use to stage a temporary blockade. China's more aggressive military pressure, campaign, and U.S. moves to bolster the island's defense in recent years have further raised tensions. U.S. defense and intelligence officials have said that Beijing has set a goal for the Chinese military to be prepared to forcibly take the island by 2027, though some experts and officials believe the PLA could be ready sooner than that. The additional U.S. forces going to Taiwan are the latest in a steady increase in numbers since 2019. According to the Defense Manpower Data Center, 30 U.S. troops were deployed in Taiwan as of spring 2022, dwindling to 26 by last summer and 23 as of the fall. 
Likewise, the training by the Michigan National Guard has been low profile. The head of the Michigan National Guard, Major General Paul Rogers, told reporters last year that the training is mutually beneficial. As the war rages on in Ukraine, the United States is doing more than supporting an ally. It's learning lessons with an eye toward a possible future clash with China. No one knows what the next U.S. major military conflict will be or whether the U.S. will send the troops as it did in Afghanistan and Iraq or provide vast amounts of aid and expertise as it has done with Ukraine. But China remains America's biggest concern. While there are key differences in geography and in the U.S. commitment to come to Taiwan's defense, there are clear parallels between the Russian invasion of Ukraine and a possible Chinese attack in Taiwan. Soon after Russian troops crossed into Ukraine last February, the U.S. and allies began sending massive amounts of weapons across the border from partner nations. But Taiwan would need to be fully armed in advance. According to Center for Strategic and International Studies report, the Ukraine model cannot be replicated in Taiwan because China can isolate the island for weeks or even months. Taiwan must start the war with everything it needs. Deputy Defense Secretary Kathleen Hicks said Ukraine was more of a cold start approach than the planned approach we have been working on for Taiwan, and we will apply those lessons. For China, an amphibious landing is the hardest military operation to undertake, but that same challenge would also make resupply difficult, particularly if China chokes off ocean access. Doug Bush is Assistant Army Secretary for Acquisition. He said, Ukraine is waging a different type of war than the U.S. would likely face with China. A future U.S. campaign would likely involve much more air power and sea power, taking some of the pressure off land-based systems and ammunition. But allies would still need to be supported with land-based systems and ammunition. Nevertheless, she and the leadership of the People's Liberation Army are closely monitoring events in Ukraine, looking for lessons that might be usefully applied in the event of a conflict with Taiwan. Russia's struggles will in no way shake China's determination to bring Taiwan under its control. From Beijing's perspective, Russia's war in Ukraine is merely a realistic preview of the costs China would likely bear if it resorted to war. Chinese leaders will examine Russia's failures and adapt their operational plans to avoid making similar mistakes. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. Just click the subscribe button right here. I'll see you again shortly. Until then, be well.